Cabin Fever, Patient Zero, in 2014. A flesh-eating virus spreads throughout a cruise ship in the Caribbean after it crashes into an abandoned scientific research boat. Directed by Carrie Andrews. Written by Jake Wade Wall. Released February 6, 2014. Sean Astin as Porter. Curry Graham as Dr. Edwards. Ryan Donowo as Dobbs. Brando Eaton as Josh. Jillian Murray as Penny. Mitch Ryan as Marcus. Sally Duran as Camilla. Lydia Hurst as Bridget. And Claudette Lalie as Kate. The story goes on and on. We had Cabin Fever. We had Cabin Fever 2. Now we have Cabin Fever Patient Zero in 2014. This is a complete different spin of the Cabin Fever franchise. It stars Sean Astin, Goonies, and then some. Sean Astin plays a character that is immune to this virus. So he's in his lab. He's like a lab rat, uh, trying to figure out how to find a cure for this virus. In the meantime, four friends go to this island, which happens to be the same island that this lab is at. Well, the two of them go diving. And, of course, they get the virus. So the girl gets it worse first, and then her boyfriend, the brother of the one that's getting married, uh, starts getting it. The other two, in the meanwhile, go for help. So they end up at this lab on the other side, and, you know, they go through the lab, and you see dead bodies, and then you realize something's going on here, and you start seeing the reason for the the virus, and look, um, I wasn't very impressed with this. I just don't know what angle they're taking it at. Uh, I mean, it's not bad. It's well shot, well acted, an interesting story. All right. Um, it was cool to see Sean Astin. The ending was weird. Uh, I know they're going to be making another one that I read. But all in all, it's people who like Cabin Fever. I mean, a lot of people don't like Part 2. I liked Part 2. But when it comes to this one, it's a whole different spin on Cabin Fever. has nothing to do with the first two. This has taken major right turn. Other than that, it uh, has plenty of gore. It's a movie that made for the younger generation, I guess. I mean, us 40-somethings, we're not used to films like this as far as trying to take the Cabin Fever a different angle. Again, it's way different than 1 and 2. I mean, 2 is different than 1, but this is a complete right turn. So basically, they have to get off this island. Uh, the ones that weren't aren't infected are trying to get off. And uh, the ending, like I said, ends very weird. That being said, this is an uh, above average, okay, in my opinion. Uh, I'm not banging it whatsoever. But people who do get a chance to see this, they're going to understand that it's nothing like the original or even part two. That being said, again, you have the flesh-eating virus. It spreads in this lab. People are sick, dead, parts falling off. The special effects was amazing. The gore was awesome. But as a story-wise, it's up to you to decide. This is Gruesome Herzog. I give this film a 6 out of 10. Above average, not bad, but hey, it is what it is. This is Gruesome Herzog, and I'm out of here.